Each year, the Serengeti Plains in Tanzania play host to one of the greatest animal migrations on Earth. Some two million animals begin a round trip that will take them almost 2,000 miles. Fossil evidence suggests that modern wildebeest grazed these plains more than a million years ago. At the beginning of each year, the wildebeest congregate on the fringes of the Serengeti, all giving birth in the same month. Rapidly, their numbers swell. The calves can run as fast as their mothers within two days of being born. No one knows what triggers the migration. There is no discernible signal. It just takes one or two to sniff the air and decide the time is right to leave. The migrating animal's journey is a long and arduous one. Even without the attention of predators, around 200,000 of the weakest wildebeest and zebras will die from starvation, disease, or overexertion during the trek. Every day, fresh carcasses are left behind. The migrating animals rest at the swollen streams and regroup. A single cat finds it tricky to bring down a full-grown wildebeest. But if it can separate a wildebeest calf off from its mother, then it has a chance of a meal. In Kenya's Masai Mara, the migrating herds arrive. Rains have created a huge area of well-watered grazing. Here, the wildebeest will stay until the smell of November's short rains tell them it's time to regroup and head southwards, back towards the Serengeti. Mm -hmm. 